Dear viewers, greetings. This present video is about the cell wall of archaea. Uh, first, the cell wall is present in most archaea except the two species. One is thermoplasma species and the second one is ferroplasma species. The cell wall of archaea is surrounded by the uh, cells outside the cytoplasmic membrane and is mediating the interaction with the environment. Archaeal cell wall can be involved in various functions like uh, cell shape maintenance and protection against viruses, heat, acidity or alkalinity. Archaea do not have peptidoglycan but it have the uh, substance called as the pseudomurine and it is uh, different in the composition of murine. Archaea have pseudopeptidoglycan and it is similar to the bacterial peptidoglycan morphologically and functionally but it is uh, distinct different in chemical composition. In archaea, instead of NAM, that is N-acetylmuramic acid, it contains N-acetyltalosamine uronic acid, that is NAT, uh, which is linked to the NAC, that is N-acetylglucosamine. Uh, the both the NAT and NAG are linked with the peptide interbridges to increase the strength. And in some archaea, uh, the cell wall is composed of uh, glycan polymers like uh, glutamine, glutaminyl glycan, heterosaccharides, methanochondrotin or pseudomorin which can be further supported by a S layer. And next is the S layer. The S layer, uh, many archaea possess a protein or glycopro glycoprotein surface layer uh, that is the S layer as, the, as their sole cell wall structure. A S layer consists of a hexagonal patterns of proteins or glycoprotein that self assemble into a crystalline, crystalline lattice which is 5 to 25 nanometer in thickness. The role of the S layer or cell wall in archaea is for uh, physical and chemical protection. And finally, methodochondrotin uh, it is a cell wall polymer found in some archaeal cells uh, which is similar in the composition to the connective tissue component uh, chondrotin which is found in most of the vertebrates. Next, a uh, difference between gram positive bacterial cell wall, gram negative bacterial cell wall and archaeal cell wall. The first feature is uh, gram staining. Under gram staining, gram positive cell wall exhibits violet color gram negative cell wall exhibits pink color and the gram staining technique is not applicable for the archaea. The thickness of the gram positive cell wall is 15 to 18 nanometer and for a gram negative cell wall the thickness is 7 to 8 nanometer and the thickness of archaeal cell wall is 20 to 40 nanometer. The peptidoglycan is present in the gram positive bacterial cell wall and gram negative cell wall and it is uh, thick and multilayered in gram positive cell wall and the peptidoglycan is thin and single layered in the gram negative cell wall. The peptidoglycan is completely absent in the archaeal cell wall. And next is uh, pseudomurine. Pseudomurine is present only in the archaeal cell wall and absent in gram positive and gram negative bacterial cell wall. And next, tecoic acids. Tecoic acids are present only in gram positive cell wall and absent in both gram negative cell wall and the archaea cell wall. Periplasmic space is absent in both gram positive cell wall and archaeal cell wall, but it is present only in gram negative cell wall. And next is uh, outer membrane. Outer membrane is present only in gram negative cell wall and absent in gram positive cell wall and archaeal cell wall. And the content of uh, lipopolysaccharide is very high in gram negative cell wall, low in gram positive cell wall, and it is completely absent in the archaeal cell wall. The concentration of lipids and lipoproteins are very low in gram positive cell wall and high in gram negative cell wall. Uh, the lipid and lipoprotein content is also very low in the archaeal cell wall. Uh, porins are present only in the gram negative cell wall and absent in both gram positive cell wall and archaeal cell wall. The cell wall disruption by lysozyme is very high in gram positive cell wall, uh, low in uh, gram negative cell wall. And for archaeal cell wall, the lysosomes are completely resistant and archaeal cells are uh, highly resistant to the lysosomes. The next is uh, regarding the rigidity and the elasticity. The gram positive cell wall is uh, highly rigid and less elastic. 
gram negative cell wall is less rigid and highly elastic RKL cell wall is semi rigid and less elastic NAG that is the N acetyl glucosamine is present in all the three it is present in gram positive cell wall gram negative cell wall and RKL cell wall but the NAM that is N acetyl muramic acid is present only in the gram positive cell wall and gram negative cell wall but it is absent in RKL cell wall and the special product that is the NAT that is N acetyl talosamine uronic acid is present only in the RKL cell wall and absent in gram positive cell wall and gram negative cell wall. Uh, next is uh, glycosidic linkage. Uh, beta 1 4 glycosidic linkage is present in bacteria that is both gram positive bacterial cell wall and gram negative cell wall. Uh, but in RKL cell wall, it have beta 1 3 glycosidic linkage. Uh, S layer is present only in the RKL cell wall and absent in both gram positive and gram negative cell wall. Methanocon protein is present only in RKL cell wall and absent in both gram positive and gram negative cell wall. Uh, protein sheets are present only in RKL cell wall and absent in both gram positive and gram negative cell wall. And the gram positive bacterial cell wall is uh, sensitive to the penicillin, uh, but the, neg the gram negative cell wall and RKL cell wall are highly resistant to the penicillin. Uh, that's all about the RKL cell wall. Dear viewers, thank you for the support. Thank you.